my name is Camilla. Today we are going to talk about photography. Now, photography. There's so much I can say about it. I've done photography for a long time and I do enjoy taking pictures. Since I was a child, I've always been taking pictures. They weren't very good. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about how I take pictures and what I look at when it comes to composing a photograph. So recently I packed up my gear and I went on a photo trip. Um, the whole premise of the photo trip is when you are driving and you pass by like a beautiful field or a landscape and you just think like, I want to sit, stop over and take that picture. So that is the premise behind these photographs. The first shot that I composed were a series of landscape shots. I climbed up this hill and mind you, oh my goodness, I got attacked by mosquitoes. And I got to the top of that hill and quickly turned around and took a shot of the landscape. Um, because nothing's more beautiful when you go into a forest and you see that pathway and you see all of the um, trees. <laughs> I don't know why it was so hard to think of trees, but yeah, trees. And you they kind of compose the photo for you. You look at how all the trees are kind of lined up. You look at the leaves and how they work together and how they kind of uh, create like different levels of light and shadow as well as the hue like the color of the leaves are so bright green and it just adds this kind of um, idea of life like how how things can be composed in a way where you just miss it sometimes and you just want to capture it in a photograph and just kind of show the world that this is what I found, this is what I think is beautiful, and this is how I framed it to show you in through my eyes. So after that little forest there, jumped back in the car, and then the next location was a conservation area totally abandoned, nobody there, and it gave me the opportunity to kind of observe um, nature in a different kind of light, because that little area was made to kind of um, preserve nature for school trips and for people to come in and to kind of do different activities in this forest. When I was going through the different areas, I did notice an adorable little red house. And I also noticed this really great pathway that reminded me a lot of the um, Shinto shrine from Memoirs of a Geisha. Uh, I know it's a really wild, <laughs> comparison, but I'm specifically talking about that kind of narrowed down depth of feel that it makes your eye just go down that entire pathway. You just want to see like what's at the end, like are you going to run through it, which is what I did. Are we going to like stop and, and turn at different sides um, to see how each of the wood or lumber just like frames each co kind of composition. Um, so that was that. Another thing that makes beautiful shots is just kind of um, empty farm fields. There's something about looking at different crops and shrubs that have nothing but um, different kinds of vegetation that, that just shows a sense of growth and vitality and that's kind of what I was aiming for in those shots. There's these hills and I was looking at that and you kind of have to take a moment to yourself and, and think like, you know what, there's something very striking about fields and hills that 
make you want to just run through it. And that's kind of the premise I was going by when I was taking those photos. I find when it comes to photographs that people miss a lot is when you go into a small town. Now there's a small town not too far from here where I get ice cream. Best ice cream. Oh my god, you have to stop in Thornton, Ontario. So in Thornton, I stopped and looked at the older buildings. They're they don't they're not abandoned or anything. It's just something about the paint peeling, the textures, and all the different elements that kind of compose Thornton and it's the fact that it's still standing today because you just look at some of the buildings and you just kind of think like is that is that balcony gonna collapse at some point or is it safe <laughs> but it's got its own sense of charm for of a small town so I was trying to capture that when I was going out and taking photos. Someone decided to put together a garden and you just kind of see all the different things that people miss. And I think that's what photography is. Photography essentially is capturing elements or moments in time that people miss all the time every day in our daily lives. So next time if you ever feel uninspired or you're lacking the willingness to go out and shoot something or take a photograph or take out a DSLR for a little test drive, please remember this. Always go out of your way to go the extra mile to take that shot. Right? Whether it's, just don't, don't trespass. <laughs> Whether it's going to a, getting out of the car to get a bit better perspective or it's taking a moment to kind of stop and smell the roses, or if it's just capturing everyday moments with your family, you only have those moments once. So I highly suggest capturing everyday moments. It's, I was reading an article the other day, uh, I think it was from Board Panda, where some guy, he went and found all of the people after 30 years that he took photos of and took the same shots again just to see if he could reconnect with them or where those people are now and it's just such an inspiration to think that photography is the backbone of those memories so do it just do it go out have fun and enjoy taking photos never ever regret or forget your gear when you know it's a nice day, if it's raining or snowing, all these different weather or climates always add to a photo and give it life. Or even better, what about that friend that you haven't seen in a while or maybe take shots of your family, just everything. You should not miss a moment. Can we, can I have a shot of me running through here? <laughs>